All right, in problem one in part D, I ask you to find a bunch of slopes. So let's run through them quickly. First of all, when I give you two points, remember that the equation for the slope of a line is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So to find this slope, I'm going to take the y's and subtract them on top, negative 6 minus 1. And then the x is on the bottom, 4 minus negative 4. Don't get tripped up by subtracting a negative. You know what to do. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. 4 minus negative 4 is 8. So there's the slope, negative 7 eighths. Uh, with 2, 5 and 2, negative 2, the slope is going to be 5 minus negative 2 over 2 minus 2. That'll give you 7 over 0. If you got 0 in the denominator, this slope is undefined. Let's try it again. With 0, 4, and 6, 4, we subtract the y's in the numerator, 4 minus 4, and subtract the x's in the denominator, 0 minus 6. And that'll give us 0 over negative 6. When you have 0 in the numerator, this fraction is equal to 0. So this one does have a slope of 0, where the previous one did not have a slope at all. Uh, one last one with two points. Uh, subtract the y's in the numerator, 1 minus 9, and the x's in the denominator, 2 minus 3. That gives us negative 8 over negative 1, which simplifies to being 8. And there we go. Determining the slopes from a graph. If um, the line is a horizontal line, remember that um, slope is also defined as rise over run. So with a horizontal line, we don't rise at all. So the rise would be zero. And the run, you could run any number, you know, that you want down here. If you take one step or a million steps, it doesn't matter. Because zero divided by whatever is going to be zero. In the second one, we have a vertical line. If we think about that as being rise over run, this has a rise that's infinitely big, but it doesn't run at all. So once again, we have that zero in the denominator, meaning that this is an undefined slope. Um, when we have an oblique line, a slanted line, it's a lot easier to see. We just go from one point to another and think again about rise over run. So we just draw a triangle. And how far do I rise here? Since that started at 3 and it goes down to the origin, it rises a negative 3. And how far does it run? Well, it goes from 0 out to 11, so that has a run of 11. Lastly, determining slopes from the equations of a line shouldn't be too tricky. If it's in slope-intercept form, there's the slope, negative 2 thirds. If it's in point-slope form, again, the slope is just sitting there in the equation. So the slope is 4. However, when it's in standard form, in general form like this one, 2x plus 3y equals 9, you can't just take a number and say that that's the slope. You have to put it in slope-intercept form first. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And we'll have 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. Now, divide every single thing by 3. That'll get y alone. So y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 3. And our slope is now sitting right there. m is negative 2 thirds.